All right, I'm gonna show you how you plug in the dealer tablet to either the headset or the smart plug. In this video, I'll just go through with the, the headset and then I'll do another one with the smart plug. So when you turn on your tablet, you should see two apps and there's two different icons with the Sensier logo. This first one is the, um, the app version one. Now this new update, that's actually for the Android tablet, so you do not want to update it. Um, the update that you should have is version 4.4. .4. Do not upgrade the tablet to um, version 5 yet, so we're going to cancel that. And you immediately see an uh, instruction for how to plug in both the smart plug and the um, smart muff. But the video, I think, should help. So first, before you plug it in, you want to make sure that the headset, in this case, is off. On the right ear cup, that's where you plug in the, US, the micro USB cable. I don't know if you can see that. It's in the middle. It doesn't matter which order you do because, you, again, the, the smart muff is going to be off initially. Okay. Once it's plugged in, you can go ahead and turn it on. And in most cases, it'll, the tablet, the app will sense the device as soon as you power it up. If it doesn't, there's an illustration on that previous screen where you push the volume up, volume down, and power button at the same time. Um, but again, usually when you power it on, once it's connected from being off when you connect it, it brings up this screen. So hopefully you can see this. This is the device information screen. You can see the MFP number, that's basically the serial number that we need a lot of times if you're servicing the, this number is the primary identification number for the unit. The right PCA and left PCA numbers. Um, the date that it was last updated, so that's important. And then you'll see the bootloader, test application, and main application, and audio image. And you can scroll a little bit farther, and you see the um, configuration profile. And that's a profile that's basically the name of all the settings, the, na the name of the file that has all the settings um, that the headset's currently set at. And you'll see that if you tap each one of these, like here's for the, um, the profile, you'll be able to see the different profiles. And right now it's at uh, the default profile for the headset. Now additionally, up at the top near the Sensier logo, you see where it says device information. If you tap that, you can also see basic settings and advanced settings. I'm gonna next talk about basic settings. This gives you all the settings that are in the, the Audible system setup menu. But you can configure, here's where you as a dealer can set it exactly the way your customer wants it. You have volume controls, uh, Bluetooth, FM radio, short range, and other settings such as external audio pass-through, uh, Vox, and the communication side tone. And you can also just hit this button and it will restore it to the settings um, for the current uh, profile that it's on. Okay, in these settings, you can uh, you slide this to, like for instance, for the volume, or there's on-off toggle buttons. And as soon as you change something, it'll give you a little message, in this case, with Bluetooth, it's instantly applying that change to, to the headset. Now, if you go to Advanced Settings, this is, um, all of these are on-off buttons, as you can see, and it's it'll tell you, switch on or off voice menu in the system setup. So this advanced settings menu is to actually turn on or off this these menu items. So if you turn it off, it won't be there in the system setup menu. In other words, if you turned all these off, there wouldn't be a system setup menu. And so sometimes that might be desirable for your customers if you don't want the their workers to be able to change the settings, you can just turn them all off or turn off select ones so that they can't be changed. Okay. And after you make the changes that you want, 
you would hit send the profile to send no you wouldn't do that as soon as you do it it'll automatically disable it again just like in the basic settings menu there is a function here that's where I started to say that if you wanted to send this profile to to Sensir, it would email it and you can also save a custom profile that you create to your tablet and then it'll add it back here where I was showing you the configuration profiles it'll add it as a an additional one and that is basically it so once you're done then you would just if you if you're changing any of the basic settings or the advanced settings the changes take place immediately and you can just unplug it but if you were gonna change the entire configuration profile then you would need to you know, select the one you want to change to and hit apply and again then just disconnect it and you're all set so it's fairly straightforward thing to remember is that um, you want to use the the first app for the headset and the second app version v.2 for the smart plug in the next video i'll show you the smart plug app with the smart plug thanks